Hello, beloveds. Uh, it's Pris, and I have a word that was given to me November 13th that I wanted to share with you. I had to remove the other video because it was so bad, but um, uh, I'll, I'll get to it. <laughs> Things are almost in order for restoration of the computer. It turned out that the, uh, the one that broke, it was mainly the um, booting mechanism, so I'll have it back soon. Anyway, uh, this word that I got on the 13th is titled A Fraction of Time. And the Lord said, Transit transitionary times are here. There are no more delays. So put on your boots, army of God, for I have work for you to do in the days ensuing. Do not allow the things of this world to keep you from your time with me, for it is crucial now to listen for my voice. I've told you this many times through the prophets, but you need to take seriously the call to armor up and follow through. Worship me in the beauty of holiness. Declare my words to the beings unseen in the heavens around you. Transition and natural labor is an intense time that mothers go through that time is not forgotten among most women because of its intensity. This is such a time. No fear is involved with most women who give birth before because they've learned from before, um, you know, if they've given birth before or from training programs. Uh, but for new mothers, it often is, is very difficult. Well, you have been in training a long time now and it's time for action. In a fraction of time, you will be changed. When you hear the sound of my roar, Know that it's time to carry out great exploits, beloveds. Suddenlies are at hand and all will be changed in a moment of time. I speak to you often in mystery, but if you know, you know. A phrase, a phrase often used these days. I am the Redeemer, God who loves and died for you. I will not carry out my promises. I will, let's see, I will not carry out Oh, will I not, <laughs> sorry, carry out my promises to you. Do not doubt the intensity of my love for you. No matter how many mistakes you've made, this army needs you. No matter how many times you've blown it, ha, huh, as you say, I have forgiven you. So do not think that you're disqualified when all is under the blood I shed for you. Remember that apart from me, you can do nothing, not even repent. Hallelujah. Oops. Had to reach for a second. Sorry. This is such a pretty video. <laughs> uh, so keep your heart tuned to my heart and know that my nature is to love you forever. I never give up on you or your family. I am faithful to my promises. I will take care of all that concerns you. I am for you and not against you. I am in front of you, behind you, beside you, under you, over you, and in you. So you are never, never, never alone. And besides my Holy Spirit, there are multitudes of angels guarding your family and you. Yes, many of you have estranged family, but many will be changed as I pour in you the fullness of what I have for you of my spirit. So don't fret nor worry, only pray and worship and thank me for what I'm about to do, restoring you and this nation through the tumultuous times. When you get tired of the enemy's taunts, think on the early Christians who so bravely endured the times of the Roman persecutions and had to live in secrecy. Think of the Russians who had to live under communist intimidations too. They would hide scriptures and potatoes to be able to remember the word. So many paid a price for years. And ask me for the grace you need to help you through. I can hide you in the midst of the people. I can do anything, remember? Remember who wins in the story. Remember restoration is on my heart. I am not the destroyer. I am the creator God who fashioned you from the dirt of the earth. I am the one who died for the sins of the whole world. And it's just as at the times of Noah. So get into the ark, beloveds, of my glory, my presence, so that you will have eyes to see and ears to hear. 
Do not lose heart at all the threats and dreams and visions people are perceiving or seeing. I give warning that you would pray and worship. Not to scare you, people will, with deep-seated fears will get fear dreams often, so be sure it's not coming from Satan rather than me. Take authority when you perceive a threat. I will tell you what to declare, what to pray if you ask. I will fight beside you in the spiritual war or any physical war. When I remembered how, I, okay, that was the end of the word. Okay, I will fight with you. And then at this point, I remembered how Brandon Frazier in the mummy movie ex experience I had. Um, I don't like that kind of movie normally, but God told me to go see it. And after I got out of the movie, I was feeling so funny. And as I walked to the car, I started being bent by the Spirit of God in the parking lot. Like bent, like I felt like his his presence on, on me and heavy presence. And I'm like, let me get to my car, Lord, so I can sit down. And once I was in it, I burst out laughing. And I realized I was not afraid during the movie, uh, which was his point for, for sending me to know that I had grown in my faith, which was kind of him. But in the movie, oh, excuse me, in the movie, the mummies were routed and all the enemies. In one scene, Brandon playing the lead character tells The Rock, who is playing the spider monster, to go back to hell where you belong. And Brandon and the female actress were fighting back to back and part of it. And he told me that is how he would be with us and uh, in his army, that he would be our rear guard. Yay, Jesus. And I'll end with this little, this wonderful verse from Habakkuk. It's one of my favorites. The Lord God is my strength, my personal bravery and my invincible army. He makes my feet like hind's feet and will make me to walk, not to stand still in terror, but to walk and make spiritual progress upon my high places of trouble, suffering, or responsibility. Habakkuk 3.19, that's in the Amplified Classic. God bless you guys. Um, there's so much going on now, I know. And, and the, the last one I mentioned something about Israel, keep praying for Israel, but also keep praying for Muslims uh, to have experiences with, with God so that they will know the truth and the truth will set them free. Um, we had a, um, a fire on a f former military base here in our little town this last week and there was allegedly um, you know a heavy metal that debris that was blown across the area so all the schools were lock, uh, locked down and the kids were back on zoom again uh, just like uh, a bit ago you know years ago so keep your eyes open and keep praying keep worshiping God is with us and he's coming very soon to overthrow the wickedness the wicked spirits that's why I'm and rout all that's evil. God bless you guys. Love you. Bye-bye.